Hello! Uh, so this is going to be the first in a series of screencasts where I'll discuss uh, partial molar properties and property changes upon mixing uh, in ideal gas mixtures. Okay, so it's going to be a series of screencasts in which we discuss partial molar properties uh, and property changes upon mixing in ideal gas mixtures. Okay, where remember an ideal gas is a system in which molecules don't interact and don't take up space. All systems approach ideal gas behavior and the limit that P goes to zero or V goes to infinity. Okay. Ideal gas is also characterized by the ideal gas equation of state. And so what we're going to start with in this first video is look at uh, computing partial molar volume. Okay, so we're going to look at computing the partial molar volume um, you know, of you know, an ideal gas or component in an ideal gas mixture. And then we're also going to talk about the concept of partial pressure. Okay, and then we'll build upon this in subsequent videos. All right, so if we start with partial molar volume. Okay. Okay, so key here is that for an, an ideal gas is characterized by the equation of state PV equals RT. So this is applicable to a single component system or a mixture, right? After all, uh, the molecules in an ideal gas don't take up space uh, and don't interact. So if I were to solve for molar volume, I get V is equal to RT over P. Now, if I think about calculating the partial molar volume, okay, V bar I is going to be equal to the differential of N times V, the extensive volume, with respect to the moles of species I, holding everything else constant. Okay, So we'll look at N in a second, but if I were just to plug in for V, RT over P, R is my molar gas constant, okay, which is constant, and I'm holding T and P constant. Okay. So this is going to be equal to RT over P times the differential of N with respect to this moles of species I, constant T, P, and NJ, right? Where NJ is meant to indicate the moles of all other species, okay? Well, so how we can tackle this is N, okay? So, you know, if I take an aside and imagine I had a binary system, okay, you know, then N would be equal to N1, oops, plus N2. If I say I had a ternary system, keep hitting the erase button on here. So if I had a ternary, then N would be equal to N1 plus N2 plus N3. Okay. So in general, I can write N as being equal to say the moles of species I plus the sum of all of the moles of all other species. Okay? So, you know, for a ternary, then this would be, say, N1, right? If one were component I plus sum over, you know, the moles of all other species, where all other species would be N2 plus N3. Okay? And so if I plug that in, then in general, okay, now I have V bar I is going to be RT over P. Okay? Now I'll have the differential of Ni with respect to Ni, okay, at constant Tp and Nj, okay, and all I'm doing is if I plug in for N, Ni plus sum over J, Nj, I can break up my differential into the sum of two terms. So this would be plus the differential of sum over J, Nj, Dni, at constant Tp and Nj. Okay. Well, if Nj, the moles of all other species, is just being held constant, this is just the derivative of a constant, which is zero. Okay. And if I look at this first term, this is just dni dni, okay, which is equal to the one. Okay. And so what we're left with then is that v bar i, the partial molar volume of species i in an ideal gas mixture, is just equal to rt over p which is just equal to then the molar volume of the mixture. Okay, So in an ideal gas, the partial molar volume is just equal to the molar volume of that mixture. Okay, Great. So in an ideal gas, the partial molar volume is just equal to the molar volume of uh, my mixture. Okay, cool. Okay, and so let me, uh, I'm just trying to tidy it up, but I guess I'm going to make it look <laughs> even worse. All right, so then the next concept we want to discuss is the concept of partial pressure, okay? 
And so chances are you've discussed partial pressure or have at least seen partial pressure uh, in, say, your general chemistry class. Okay. Okay, so partial pressure. So what is partial pressure? Okay, so if I again think of um, the case of an ideal gas, well, we're dealing with ideal gases, so ideal gas equation state tells us that PV equals to RT. Okay, so that P is just equal to RT over V. Okay, cool. Well, uh, the other way I'm going to write it is, well, so PV, if I want to put this in its extensive form, okay, PV is equal to NRT, where all I've really done here is this is my molar volume, right? And my molar volume, okay, is just, let's see, so this is P, okay, this is my molar volume. I can replace my molar volume as being my extensive volume divided by my number of moles, right, is equal to RT, okay? Um, and actually, hold on, I'm butchering this up, okay? So let me try and start over again, all right? So PV equals RT, okay? So P, if I solve for P, is just RT over V, okay? If I want to get this in, um, you know, it's extensive form, so typically you're used to seeing PV equals NRT uh, from your previous classes, okay? Well, V, I can replace with being V total over N, right? V is my molar volume, it's just my extensive volume over N, that's equal to RT, and so that's what leads to P times V total equals NRT, right? And so uh, in your earlier classes, you probably just saw PV equals NRT, right? Where N here is because we're using extensive volume. So if I were to solve for pressure in this case, I have that P is equal to NRT over uh, V total. Okay, cool, okay? P equals RT over V, or equivalently, P is equals RT over V total. Okay, and so this is the equation we're going to work with as we think about the concept of partial pressure. Okay, all right. So now, um, what is partial pressure? Okay, so um, in words, uh, if I try and you know state it, um, you know the partial pressure of species I would be say the um, pressure that species I would exert if it were the only species present in my in an ideal gas fixture at the same uh, total volume, okay? And so what I mean by this is I'm gonna draw a box, okay? So I'm gonna try and play with colors here. So I'm gonna have a box, okay? And if I just stick with black, okay? In this box, I'm gonna have, say, some component one, which I'm indicating via these uh, solid circles, okay? And then I'll have, say, some component two, which I designate with these open circles, okay? So I have an ideal gas fixture. Okay, what is the pressure of this system? Okay, we're here, right? It's going to be in some fixed volume. Okay, well, the pressure is just equal to, you know, nRT over V total. Or for the case of this binary system, I could equivalently say that P is equal to N1 plus N2. Okay, so N times RT over V total. Okay, that's, you know, P. Okay. Well, what is partial pressure? What's meant by partial pressure? Well, the idea is, is if I take this binary mixture, okay, and so say these, you know, solid black ones are component one, okay, so if I were to delete all of my molecules of component two, so that I just have component one in the same total volume, okay, well then the partial pressure due to component one would just be moles of component one times, okay, total volume staying the same, RT over V total. So it's the pressure that component one would exert if it were the only species present in that ideal gas mixture, okay? Uh, so that in general, PI is just equal to NI times RT over V total, okay? Cool, okay? And so to make things complete then, okay, so if I'm looking at this binary system case, okay, I could equivalently write this as N1 times RT over V total, okay? Uh, plus N2 RT over V total, okay? Where this would just be the partial pressure of component one, this would be partial pressure of component two, okay? So that P, okay, is gonna be just the sum of my partial pressures of the components in my system. Or in general, P then will be sum over I, um, PI, right? The sums of my partial pressures, okay? 
cool. Okay, and that's a concept of partial pressure, right? And it should make sense. You know, an ideal gas is a system which molecules don't interact and don't take up space. Uh, so partial pressure of component I would be the scenario of I have a mixture, an ideal gas mixture. I delete all of the molecules of all um, species other than uh, I, and it would be the pressure that uh, just component I would exert, right? So it's essentially the contribution to the pressure due to uh, component I, okay? That's partial pressure.